Hello, Veranda. Hello, Miranda. Whoever that is. Hello, Woodcutting Studio. Oh, you got the AC on, and it's like 33 degrees out. Not cool. Here's what we're gonna do. There we go. We're going to take this tree out and take it to the cabin. We're getting this off the wall. And it breaks my heart because I had big plans for this studio, but I believe God's telling me to sell my house. And in preparation for that, we're gonna take some of this nice stuff. Ugh. Ooh, not good, not good. Look at that, breaking apart. We're gonna take this nice stuff, put it in the cabin. This will go in the guest room upstairs. It's only a little painful because it's breaking, but I know I can fix it. Ugh. Carefully putting the pieces in the truck. Don't worry, I know how to reassemble it. Also taking this beautiful stained glass window. That's gonna go in the cabin. Well, well, we got the bulk of it out. This branch and this base is the bulk of it. We can work around that. All right, now we got the rest of the owls. I had to put this on the inside because the wind would blow it apart. But we got it to fit in. The arm fell off, fell onto my seat. So it really has fallen apart a lot. But have no fear. I know what to do. I built it the first time, I'll reassemble it. Well, we're here. We are at the cabin and I, this looks like junk beside me. Oh, we don't want to pull up too much because don't hit the cats. Man, they're pigs. Hey guys, what's up? Uh, why is the door open? Film. Got a gun. I have a gun and it's loaded. I've got a gun and it's loaded.
I have a gun and it's loaded. Seriously, seriously. Wow. Gotta check the perimeter. You're messing with fire, son. You are messing with fire. Well, that's weird. I know I locked it. Guess it's nothing. <sighs> Freaking weird. Your Heavenly Father. I pray to you now because ouch, I can't be here all the time to watch this place. But you can and you're here. Lord, I pray that your angels would stand guard on the four corners of this property. Lord, I pray. 
pray that your Holy Spirit power would be released on this place and that anybody that would dare trespass and attempt to break in, that by your own hand, you would smite them down. You would crush them down. This is your land. This is your place. Lord, I pray over this place. I pray over all of this place, God. I'm not coming out here doing this work for nothing. And I am unsettled at best when I see the door open. Lord God, I lift up this whole place to you. I lift up the future. I lift up everything that you have in store for it. I lift up everybody that's going to come here. I lift up everybody that's going to help. I lift up everybody that's going to be blessed by it, that's going to be fed by it, that's going to be protected by it. I pray for my neighbors. I pray for all the neighbors. I pray for a coalition, a band of brothers, a closeness, Lord. I pray that you would protect not only my property, but all the properties around, all of them. I pray for ties. I pray for the wimp basses up here. I pray for all of them. I pray for protection. I pray for Oakley and the ski lodge. I pray that you would protect our places from fire, from, from vandalism, from drug dealers, from anybody that would try and steal, anybody that would lay a hand on any of our properties. I pray you with your, your spirit and your angels would reach down and cripple their ability to touch us. I pray that you would put a divine protection over this place. No one can step on this property that is not authorized and be blessed. Lord, that is what I say. Lord, and while I'm at it, I lift up everybody that I love. I lift up all my enemies. I lift up my enemies, Lord. I pray you would bless my enemies, Lord. Bless my enemies. I pray you would free them, Lord. Free the enemies from wicked ways of thinking and, and evil intent and wrong thinking. Lord, I pray everybody that come in contact with me would be blessed. I pray that I would be a conduit a conduit of your energy and your power, Lord. I pray that this prayer would be on this video and that others will be blessed, Lord. It is not about fame or glory, Lord. No one knows me. It's not about that, Lord. Lord, you know my secret prayers with you. We have our plenty. Those are not for people to see. But this prayer is for people to see. It's for people to see, to know that you can reach out to you, Lord, that you are a God that is able and ready and willing to answer. Lord God, I, I pray thanksgiving over this peach tree. Look at this. This peach tree survived. In fact, let's take a look at the other ones. That peach tree survived. That peach tree survived. That peach tree survived. Lord, this is a great sign. That peach tree survived. That peach tree survived. It's little. <laughs> Lord, I pray over this orchard that you would touch this orchard. You would bless this orchard, Lord. I'll put my hand out now and you bless all these plants, Lord. Bless all of them. Bring fruit that people would eat and enjoy and savor. Keep them alive. I pray for all these plants, all the ones that are living. Lord, the ones that stop trying to live, let them die. Let them die. All the ones that want to live, let them live. I pray over this greenhouse. I pray over every item that I'm going to grow in this greenhouse, that it will thrive and it will live and it will sustain. And it'll be a great place of blessing and peace. Pray for the people that would visit this and be blessed by it. As I said, I pray for my neighbors. Pray for this holding tank that you would make it never, never float away again. Pray for this basketball goal and hoop right up here. That it would be a place of invigoration. I pray, Lord, over all the things up here that will be. All the visions and dreams. And Lord, I see something over there. And I don't know what it is. I do not know what that is. But it's shiny. That is really bizarre. 
God, I don't have much daylight. I got to get this installation in. Give me the wisdom where to put it. But Lord, I pray for your Holy Spirit firepower to protect this place and to protect me and restore everything that was lost to me as you said you would. I pray for the people that are against me, that are bitter against me, that you would turn their hearts back to me, God. Have them examine themselves and know that there's nothing but love in my heart for people. Bless this place, all these places, from tornadoes, natural disasters, invasion, anything. Locusts, plagues, famine. Make this place a special place that is protected by your hand. Let it be so as I have spoken now in the name of Jesus. <sighs> Basically, this whole tree was almost completely destroyed. I have pieces and parts that I have to put back together like a puzzle. All right. Whew, that was not easy. It's painful to see this tree fall apart so much. But the crux of the tree is in place. It has been attached to the wall. And I chose this spot here. I want it to like kind of protrude out and wrap around. Still have plenty of room for the window to open and shut. But when you're looking out, you're looking through a tree to the outside, which is really awesome. This will all be painted to look real, like a real tree. Now, since this is all, you know, got uh, insulation behind it, we can start building this tree back. Now, the biggest piece that broke off, sadly, but that's okay, is this guy. And I gotta figure out, how did it go on here? Was it like that? No, I think it was like this, let's see. Uh, Yep, it was like this. That's how it was. There we go. That's how the tree goes. It attaches back like that. I'm going to screw this onto the wall. This is very temperamental. Oh, shoot. Don't fall. Hang on, buddy. We're just going to leave it like that because it's cracking on. Now we got to screw it onto this. All right, you want to do it nice and slow. You don't want to put pressure on it. All right. It's on there. <laughs> it's not super strong, but it's on there. Cool. Now, we get this part. Yeah, this part here. But I think that one... Let's see. I don't... Oh, it does. It goes like that. Yep, look at that. It was right there. Look at that, and there's the owl. Okay, I'm gonna attach this next to that stud. Oh, that's beautiful. Man, this is working out well. I just attached this very flimsy piece. What this is, this is a bunch of pieces of foam that I cut up into strips, and I want it to be really detailed, and they're flowing, kind of like a, like a Disney movie tree bark. So, I'm just gonna gently put a screw in, very carefully. Believe it or not, that should secure it. Then I'm gonna put one over here to hold it up. So, you stand back and look at it. It literally is going to be a tree on the wall. You say, oh, that's tacky. Why would you want that in your cabin? Because the way I paint these, they look beautiful. They actually look like something out of a Disney movie. Right now, they're just plaster. But this tree is gonna have branches going up like that, which I will also harvest out of my, out of my studio. But like I said, the cat's destroyed it. Probably gonna end up selling that house. I wanna take that investment that I did all the time and put it into a place that people are gonna enjoy. And I really do like that that sticks out from the window a little bit. And I'll round that off. I'll definitely round that off, but it's cool because you're like looking through a tree. Carrying, I've been carrying something around with me all day. This little guy. <laughs> You say, why has he got straw like that, like a like a string? Well, that's going to be a nest, and I'm going to plaster it, and he'll look like he's got a little nest. I'm not sure where he'll go. Maybe he'll go here. I don't know. I don't know. But for now, we'll just put him there so he doesn't fall off. This is going to have little owls in it. 
This may be the guest room, the owl guest room. Now we're adding another branch. Let's not put weight on that. Let's be smart. There we go, yeah. So if you look at the tree, it's coming back together. You get your main stalk, you get this whimsical branch coming out, and then you get this other whimsical branch, and then it kind of splits up. So see, it's already starting to take form. I like it. We got little owls. Boop, boop. Hello there. All right, then you even got a bunny sliding down the tree. See? See his little feet? Wee! His little hands, mittens. We've got an owl right there that's carved. See that? Look at that. Isn't that cool? Yeah, it's really cool. This room is going to be amazing. Amazing. So you come up the stairs, come around, boom. Owl tree successfully moved. Hadn't even thought about it till this morning. Woke up, and then the idea came. You got to move the owl tree. Really, out of all things, that's what I need to do today after work. Move the owl tree. Well, it's been moved. It took courage. It took so much courage because, I, I, look, it broke apart into pieces. It was absolute heck getting it here. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this. Not today. And I'm going to cut this up into a foot. And I, that's what I'm going to put up there and then fill it with foam. It'll catch the foam. That'll seal it up nicely. It'll insulate that peak. And then I can put wood on top of it. So that's my answer for that. It'll be easy. You could screw through that foam into these guys. It'll be absolutely wonderful. But I am super stoked about the owl tree has been moved. Now we're going to go downstairs and hang up a stained glass window. All right. So the vision I have for the stained glass window is it actually acts. Is it cracked? It is cracked. That's a shame. That's a shame. Um, but the, the reason it's cracked is because the cats knocked it off at the studio. It's almost like the cats came into the studio to destroy it, to say, hey, we're going to the farm. We want this stuff at the farm. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hang this up here. It's actually going to act as part of the wall. It's going to let light in from the other side. Okay, look at that beauty. I mean, that's a beauty. I paid $700 for this. Made by somebody I know. All right, look at that. Let's just step back and look at it. So that's going to be part of the wall. It's actually a hole. I'll put wood up around it. But you're going to see that when you walk up. It's tactile. I mean, it's very tactile. Let's see. Oh, yeah. On the inside of the bathroom, look at this. Whoa, so beautiful. Now I'm going to have lights in here. Electric's going to be hooked up Thursday. We're going to have lights in every room. Look at that. How gorgeous is that? Yes, I love it there. I love it there. It's so beautiful. So what we'll do is we'll custom this out. Um, what a wonderful thing. What a wonderful, wonderful addition to the cabin. Oh, I love it. I love it. And then this side is smooth. Oh, I love it, man. It's a gorgeous, gorgeous piece. Look at that sun coming through there. Man, I just feel the Holy Spirit right now. I just touch my heart. Saying, this is blessing, blessing, blessing. You're blessed, you're blessed, you're blessed, you're blessed. You are blessed. Yes, I am, Lord, I am blessed. I am. Oh, this excites my soul. I can stand here and just look at this. Yes. But I got to go unload the windows. I'm sorry, I just have to get one more video of this. Look at that. Light coming through the stained glass window in the bathroom. Unbelievably beautiful.
Okay, enough, enough. Let's go to the windows. <laughs> That's so awesome. Okay, let's actually close this door. Imagine the kitchen's full blown, everything's done. You come in here, there's a wood wall there that looks just like this. Wood everywhere, boom. You get this beautiful stained glass window next to the white door. Yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. For the Lord God Almighty reigns. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. For the Lord God Almighty reigns. All right. Last but not least, we got all the windows out here. Great deal on the windows. I laid out some of them. How they're going to be seen. How cool is that? They're like all going to be uniform all across the front face. Probably two rows of them. So it's going to look absolutely gorgeous. Like it's going to be not hodgepodge on the front face. It's going to be uniform, lined up, perfect. Like a pristine greenhouse. But on the sides, it'll have some more personality where you enter in kind of like a cool garden area. Well, I got to go. Got to go. I love you. Yeah. You're the best cat ever. Don't bite me. Don't bite me. Ah. Ah. This is what being blessed looks like. And anybody can have this. I put in my time. Anybody can have this and it's just getting started. And anybody can have cats because they're everywhere. Some will probably say, why are you doing trivial things like owls on the wall? things like that. I don't know, man. I just do whatever prompting I feel at the time. Probably God wants me to get out the old, out of my old studio and put in the new, a place of celebration where hundreds and hundreds of people will enjoy it. That's all I can say. I just follow what God says. I, I have no other answer for you. I'm not, I'm not like filled with like all knowing, although I am, because I'm one with God, but has been illuminated to me. So all I can do is just do what I feel when I wake up and when I open my eyes this morning, it was take the owl and the tree from the studio and put it in the cabin. That's all I can tell you. I didn't make it up because I just did it. So obviously it was a thought I had. So the question comes down to, was it my thought, the devil's thought, or God's thought? It wasn't the devil's thought. Unless he was trying to distract me from working on my book. I don't feel that. Um, and I don't think it was me because I, I didn't want to do it. It was hard, like it wasn't fun, it was lonely. It was lonely and it was it was excruciating to tear that off my wall. I had dreams in that building. Dreams that that was gonna be a neat place. But sometimes on your projects, you have to just know when to abandon them and move on to like something that's more meaningful, that matters. And that's what I feel. That room is going to bless going to make them smile and make them feel good when they're sleeping in it and there's owls all around them. It's going to be cool. It's going to be really neat. Last but not least, be open to new experiences. Panda Express. A pleasant surprise is in store for you. Panda Express. I love Panda Express.